The most important piece of relationship advice that most likely no one ever told you is that the state you're in when you're around people matters more than almost everything else. You see, even if your actions are perfect, it matters a whole lot where they're coming from and how you do them, not just that you do them. If you're around your friends and you're always feeling down, depressed, or anxious, then those relationships are going to get strained and they're going to suffer. And I'm not telling you that you should be happy all the time and that there's nobody that you can ever lean on because you have to be strong and feel great always so that you can have good relationships, but rather I'm trying to encourage you to really take a look at how much control and power you have over the way that you feel right now. And not just right now, all of the time. You can choose how you want to show up, how you want to carry yourself, and how you want to interpret the experiences that you're going through. In fact, that's really all you can truly control is how you respond to the situations and the people around you. Imagine being in a romantic relationship where your partner is always extremely needy, right? They always run after you, they always want something from you, and they've become a taker, somebody who just wants to get stuff from you and really not just lean on you, but rather completely slump themselves over, go limp, and expect you to carry all the weight. Now, maybe you can put up with it for a while, and of course, you probably love them unconditionally, so you'll give it your best shot but eventually it's going to tear on you. It's going to wear on you and you're going to get tired. Does it mean that you can't keep going and that the relationship is over? No, but is it going to be of that same quality and are you going to enjoy it as much as if the case was that both of you were givers? What if you were always filling each other's cups and instead of being codependent or independent, you became interdependent? What I mean by that is if you were picking apples off of an apple tree, you can only get so many apples if you pick on your own. You won't get many apples at all if you're arguing the whole time about the best way to do it, but you would get a whole lot if you helped each other reach those high up spots that no one else can get to. So I'm asking you this, how can you collaborate more and in a better way with those around you, those people that you really care about? How can you deepen the roots of your relationships with cooperation instead of dependence? How can you drop all your sense of neediness and desperation and replace it with abundance and love? You know the old cliche about how if you don't love yourself, how can you expect anybody else to love you? Well, there just so happens to be a lot of truth in that. And I really want you to look at a deeper level of how you feel about yourself. Do you really, really love yourself unconditionally? Even if you make mistakes, do you forgive yourself for everything that you've done wrong in the past? And do you walk with a sense of lightheartedness or are you heavy? Because if you're heavy, it's time to do some healing. It's time to really go in and introspect and ask yourself, what am I still holding on to? What's weighing me down? What can I let go of to make room for something new? Because much like in a video game, if your character is carrying too much weight, it will be moving really slowly and you won't really be able to do anything until you drop some stuff. You won't be able to really have great relationships until you drop the burdens of the past. The trauma must be processed. You have to be renewed. And that way you can really go all in with what's in front of you and the people who are in front of you right now. Instead of dwelling, instead of comparing, instead of overthinking, you can be in this present moment and enjoy it 100%. Because if you become present with those around you, the payoff is massive. So please ask yourself, instead of what do I want, who would I have to become? What would I need to embody in order to create and attract what I want? The problem is if you're asking the wrong questions, you'll get the wrong answers. And if you ask the right questions, you'll open up your energy, you'll find it easy to thrive and your relationships will be so much better for it. Also, if you wanna improve your relationships even further, if you want to master your communication, become the best version of yourself and really grow rapidly, then I invite you to jump on a one-on-one -on -one call with me to see if I can help you and become your coach. All you gotta do is go to eraphael.com. There you can sign up for a free consultation with me. We'll talk, see if we're a good fit, and maybe we'll be working together soon. If so, I'm looking forward to it. And regardless, I hope that you enjoyed this one. I'll catch you on the next one.